Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Rick and I'm here with a video thanks to the folks over at Lionsgate Home Entertainment as well as the folks from Mill Creek Home Entertainment. Um, so first I want to talk about this title that was sent over to me by the folks at Lionsgate Home Entertainment. I will preface this uh, by saying I've not had a chance to watch any of these movies yet. Uh, but when I do, you guys know, if you check out my letterbox, if you follow me on letterbox, I will have reviews of the films. And then obviously, um, I will talk about these movies in an upcoming review video when I get to, uh, watching these. Hopefully I will be checking all these out in the next couple weeks. They're all very high on my priority, uh, list to watch. The first thing here was sent over to me by the folks at Lionsgate Home Entertainment, uh, I believe this movie is celebrating, yep, the 30th anniversary. It's a movie I remember seeing in video stores all the time as a kid. It had a white cover, Steve Martin, like a, a top hat, and it said L.A. Story. And uh, I've never seen it. And like I said, the above mentioned movie is L.A. Story. This being the 30th anniversary edition with the awesome slipcover there. So you got Steve Martin is the lead in this movie. It was also written by Steve Martin, directed by Mick Jackson. I will read the synopsis to you guys, uh, because if you're like me, you're not very familiar with this movie, or maybe you've seen it. Let me know down below. Should I put this like up to the very top of the priority list? Check it out first before anything else. Uh, LA Story is legendary comedian, actor, author, Steve Martin's love letter to the City of Angels. Being in a magical city with predictably pleasant weather can make the life of meteorologists seem monotonous. When TV weatherman Harris Telmacher, played by Steve Martin, begins receiving secret messages from an electronic freeway sign, he leaves his longtime girlfriend, played by Mary Lou Henner, and embarks on a frivolous romance with a vapid young model, played by Sarah Jessica Parker, which ultimately leaves, leads him to true love with the woman of his dreams, played by Victoria Tennant. Beloved by generations of movie fans, L.A. Story reminds us that anything is possible and real love can be found, even in the city of make-believe. So, the the movie sounds very interesting. Uh, also stars Richard, Richard E. Grant, who I really loved in the movie Can You Ever Forgive Me, uh, alongside Melissa McCarthy. Also, this disc has some special features. Uh, Ode to Be in L.A., which is Mick Jackson's L.A. Stories. He's the director of the film. Deleted scenes as well as outtakes, the story of L.A. Story, the L.A. of L.A. Story, and original theatrical marketing materials. So all that can be found on this. It is a Blu-ray digital combo pack. So as I showed you guys before, you have your digital copy code there. And then just the standard with the Lionsgate blue disc with the white artwork that says L.A. Story. Uh, this, I believe, is available available in stores now, according to this paperwork here. I want to see if there's anything else that I forgot to mention about this one. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I think I, I pretty much nailed all the points. Yeah, like I said, 91. This is the first time uh, LA Story has come out on high definition. Uh, I know this was on DVD but now available on Blu-ray, like I said, from the folks over at Lionsgate Home Entertainment. Thank you guys for sending this over. And let me know down below, guys, should I push this, like I said, to the top of the list? It's definitely gonna be in the next couple of weeks that I watch this one, because I'm very curious about checking this out. Uh, and then the folks over at Mill Creek Entertainment sent me a few releases. Uh, these actually dropped yesterday. Uh, these came out November the 16th available. Uh, I always recommend people check out Amazon. Uh, I will put links down below to where you can buy both of these from Amazon. Uh, the first movie you guys are going back really Rick, um, is a movie. It looks very interesting. Uh, a documentary that basically talks about, uh, exotic dancers in Las Vegas. Uh, but it's interesting because they filmed this over pandemic. So it talked about how they had to like adjust to life uh, in a pandemic. So it is stripped Las Vegas. And uh, I just saw this as three hours and 25 minutes. I wonder if it's, I would assume it's one disc. Let's crack this bad boy open. Um, I love documentaries about this kind of stuff. I don't know if you guys ever watched the, 
just one DVD. So, stripped Las Vegas. Uh, if you guys remember the MTV show True Life, where they had like, uh, I'm addicted to this, or I'm an adult star, nobody knows. Like, I think stuff like that is incredibly fascinating, but that maybe that's just me. Uh, so yeah, this is about, um, like I said, strippers in Las Vegas. Um, the synopsis says over 20,000 strippers live and work in Las Vegas, some earning over six figure incomes. <clears throat> but to these performers, it's more than pleasure and play in Sin City as they chase their dreams. Fall six to the top, fall six to the top exotic dancers as they take you behind the curtain into their personal life where they try to make it work during a global pandemic that shut down their industry. Strip Las Vegas, um, produced, edited, and directed by Mark Ostrich. It says, warning, this program contains material suitable for adult audiences only. I, I think that's kind of obvious. And it says, runtime, three hours and 25 minutes. So I'm curious to check this one out. I know Bridget wants to watch this as well. So looking forward to seeing that. And then this movie, um, a lot of people are excited about this. The first time ever on high def. Uh, celebrating its 20th anniversary, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and it is a film that is written and directed by Deborah Kaplan and Harry Elfont. And that is Josie and the Pussycats. I've never seen this, guys. I've heard a lot of people, when I posted this on my Instagram, excuse me, rave about this movie. I am excited to check it out. I know it has Joe Martinez's favorite actress right there, Tara Reid. So I am very curious to check this one out. Uh, also stars Rachel Lee Cook and Rosario Dawson, as well as Alan Cumming, um, Parker Posey, uh, Missy Pyle, um, Gab Gabriel Mann, Paulo Costanzo, Carson Daly's in this movie. Uh, and this also has some bonus features, which is cool, coming from Mill Creek. Uh, feature commentary with the directors and the producer, backstage pass, a behind the scenes featurette, deleted scenes. Josie and the Pussycats, Three Small Words music video, du jour, um, two du jour music videos, including, I, I don't even know if I want to say that, <laughs> du jour around the world and backdoor lover. So, um, yes, I, I've heard great things. Excited to check this out. It is the 20th anniversary edition. I didn't realize that was on the front there. And uh, excited to visit this one because I've never seen it. Lots of people raving about it. Uh, and this is available now from Mill Creek Entertainment. Like I said, I'll put links down below. I'm going to put links where you can get all three of these on Amazon down below in the description box. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much to the folks over at Lionsgate Home Entertainment as well as Mill Creek Entertainment for sending me these over to show you guys and talk about in this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you don't do so yet to the channel. Also hit that bell notification so you guys know when new videos are coming to the channel. Uh, check out the description box down below where you can find links to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Letterboxd where I rate and review all the movies that I watch. Also links to my eBay store, Amazon wishlist, Blu-ray.com profile, as well as my P.O. box and email address. And that is it guys. So thank you for watching. As always, until next time, who's down to movie?